Hey guys, so I'm doing a Black Friday haul for you and it's a really big haul so bear with me. I basically recorded this video now four times since I recorded this video on my iPhone for the first time and it died midway and I didn't find out until I went to go turn it off for my video and I was like, oh, it died. So yeah, kind of stinks. And then I tried videotaping on my computer and it just was a terrible, terrible, terrible quality and it just didn't show oh it just didn't show like what I wanted like the colors were off everything was off so I figured I would redo it for you guys and then my brother interrupted and I was like ma so now we are gonna do it together yes so first thing I got from Gilly Hicks actually was this sweater and this scarf and I got this scarf and this sweater which has like you see the gold in it? Oh yeah, this camera's so much better. Um, combined, they were thirty dollars. So thought that was a pretty good deal, and it was super soft, and I love it. So then I got oh yes, I am so excited about this camera. It is just showing all the colors. I got this like neon pink. Do you see how like neon pink this is? It's crazy. I got this neon pink high low sweater. It's quarter sleeve from Gilly Hicks, and like when I saw this, I was just like, oh, like, oh my gosh, words cannot express like how excited I was because this sweater is like the pinkest thing I've ever seen. It's so neon, and I'm like, I have to have it, and it was only $12 after the 50% off, which is like the best thing ever, so this hair is going to bother me all day. Mm. So then I got this gray sweater, which is super cozy and nice, and I don't like v-neck, but this is a v-neck for both the back and the front, and it's just super soft, and oh, guys, if you don't have a Gilly Hicks around you guys, you really won't understand the amount of like wonderful smells that come out of this store, but oh, makes your sm clothes smell so good. Love. I didn't really think about buying this, like, think about it before I bought it. I kind of just was like, oh, I like that. And I kind of just threw it over my sleeve, and then I went to the cash rep, and I just paid for it all. And, like, thinking about it, like, I could have bought so many different things um, that I liked versus this. But, I mean, it was only $12, so, like, who cares, kind of. I can wear it as, like, a pajama shirt, or if I went out with it, I don't know. But it's just this red and navy stripe and I really love red and navy stripes so that's probably what I saw when I got it but I also have a red and navy stripe sweater from um, Abercrombie and Fitch that I got a while ago that I had really wanted so I don't know why I basically have two but the other one's a sweater this one's a shirt maybe so that's why my brain was like ah, okay so then I got these pajama bottoms and they are like the cutest because they have these tiny little um koala bears and like oh I love koala bears love them love them so I had to get those and I'm not really one for pajama shorts because I feel like they ride up all the time and they're super uncomfortable but I had to get them because they had koala bears and it kind of makes me sad because I wish I would have bought these other pajama pants so maybe I'll go back and and get the pajama pants they have like mooses on them with little scarves and I was like oh cute so then I got this white shirt and it's got lace all on it and it's got these cute little sleeves with bows and I love bows I love them and I know it's a short sleeve but I figured with a sweater or with anything I really could wear this really um, paired well with anything so and I really didn't get any like cardigans and they had a lot of really good cardigans so I should have just should have just got some but I don't know, maybe I'll just go back and do another second shopping trip. I don't know. I don't really want to spend any more money because I spent a lot the first time. So then I got this Gilly Hicks sweater and it's also a high-low and I love high-low because, especially in sweaters, because I have a pair of high-waisted um, black pants and I always, always, always wear the high-low um, sweaters or long sleeves with the high-low, I mean with the high-waisted pants because it just feels comfortable and... It looks good, so. And with a pair of boots, 
Oh yeah. Then I got this um, gray and navy striped shirt. I mean sweater. And it's just cozy and comfortable. And I saw it and I was like, well, it's only... Hmm. It's only $14. So I was like, that's not bad. So I got it. And for a sweater, like, I will literally wear all these sweaters. Like, not one will go unworn. So, that's why I figured, like, I always wear the clothes that I buy. So, I don't think anything will be a waste. And I don't grow. I, I've been the same size for a very, very long time. And I'm 4'10", so, and I'm 21, so. I don't think I'm going to be growing anytime soon, and I've been the same weight forever, so. Anyway, that's all I got from Gilly Hicks, including this scarf and this shirt. Then I went to, oh, besides, oh, I also got this from Gilly Hicks. They're like yoga, yoga capris, but they're in pants on me. And they got the little Gilly Hicks logo, and they're like so soft, this little thing is super soft. And the reason why I really like these is they're like yoga leggings. And, um, they're supposed to be capris, like I said, but they are pants on me because I am so short, so it was a win for me. Because it's hard to find yoga pants that are, like, my length that I'm not, like, swimming in, so. I went to Abercrombie Kids because I'm pretty short, like I said, and their extra larges fit me perfectly. So, I saw this really cute sweater, and I was like, <gasps> I had to get it. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute, and like, it's got the cute little trees and a moosey with a bow, cause it's a girl moose. Cause I was thinking, like, should I take that bow off? And my mom's like, no, because that's how you could tell it's a girl moose. And I was like, you're right, mom. And I love bows, so so cute. And like, a lot of people think, oh, it's a Christmas sweater, but I just think it's a cozy sweater with a cute moose on it and some trees. Like he's in the wilderness, walking on some snow. That's what I think. And those little things, I'm like, they're like little snowballs. I don't know, anybody can call it what they want to call it, but I will call it a fuzzy, warmy sweater with a moose walking in the snow in the woods. And it smells good, and I wore it yesterday with those leggings and these candy cane socks that I got from Bath & Body Works, but that's a whole different... I'll show you that a little later. But then I also got this gray sweater. It's just like a cable knit, and... It's just super cozy and warm, and it fits me really nice, and I thought maybe I can even wear it with, like, a, um, like, one of those, like, shirts, like, button-down shirts with the collars. I figured I could probably wear that under this, and it would look really nice, and this was only, um, $12, so I figured it's a good way to stock up on some really needed sweaters, and I have a lot of good sweaters, but I feel like these are all, like, staple sweaters that I'll probably end up wearing over and over and over and over again, and I know myself, and I usually go crazy with those type of things. Like, I'll always wear them. So, then I went to Hollister, and I picked up ooh, this jacket, and it's got the plaid inside and the fuzzy, her fuzzy fur um, hood, and it's just a really, really nice jacket for, um, the fall and winter season, and, yeah, it was $60, and, which is a really good deal, because it's originally $120, and it's a really heavy jacket, and it's super cozy, and I will always wear it. My hair is, like, super soft, like, super thin, so that's why I have to keep redoing it, because it just won't stay in, because I straightened it this morning, and... Blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares, so. Then I got this um, cobalt blue, like, winter jacket, and it's so soft. Oh, my gosh, it's so soft inside. And it's like a bubble-type jacket, but it's really great for winter, and it's really heavy, and it'll keep you warm. And it was, like, so hot in there in the Hollister. I waited in line for two hours in Hollister, but it was pretty worth it, actually, just for the two coats because I got them both for 120 um, total, which is the price of one, so I thought that was a really good deal, because I really will be able to wear this, and I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's, like, pretty windy outside, because it's snowing, and I hope we get, like, a snowstorm, oh my gosh, I'd be so excited, because I love the snow. Then, I went to Abercrombie and Fitch, and 
I decided to get this really awesome sweater. I mean, sweater, why do I keep saying that? Scarf. It's like, oh, and it smells so good. I love the smell of Abercrombie. Ugh, if you guys want like a dupe of a candle for the Abercrombie smell, it's Mahogany Teakwood from, um, from Bath and Body Works. And there's a dupe for it also in Yankee Candle for the smell of Abercrombie. And I found it yesterday. And I don't remember it, but oh well. They, they do have one in Yankee Candle too that smells like it. Mmm, it smells so good. But I got this scarf and I really love it. And I thought I could wear this scarf with either my red jacket or this green jacket I got, which is just basically like a windbreaker rain jacket. And they've had this on in the store in the sale section for about like six months. So I figured if they had one left, they'd probably be pretty, be pretty cheap by now. And I got this one for $25, which is a really good deal. And um, it's just got like a a navy mesh inside and I do I run a lot I love to run and go on workouts so can't really do it much now because of the snow but I still can go to the gym if I want to obviously so yeah I thought it would be really good especially in the springtime um, when it's a little chilly but yet getting warm I figured it'd be a really good buy so yeah I got that um, I also went to Target and I got two things for my new apartment, um, a waffle maker and a um, mini crock pot. And I was going to return the mini crock pot, but then my fiance was like, let's keep it. I'll put some cheese in there and some ground meat and some beans and I'll make a really yummy nacho dip. And I'm like, okay, you can have it. So uh, for those who are interested, I am engaged and yay. Here's the ring. Oop. I don't know if you can see it, but it's beautiful, and he did a good job, and I love him, and I love the ring, and I didn't even help him. He did it all by himself, which is nice, because I don't like those girls who are like, oh, this one or this one. That's the one that you guys get to pick. I don't like girls who pick out their own engagement ring. I feel like it should be a guy's thing to do. Like, I feel like if you don't like it when a guy gives it to you, like, it's just a ring. Like, he picked that out because he thought you would love it, and if you hate it, like, you should just be happy that you even have a ring. And that you're getting married. Durr. So I got this pajama top. And it's like a neon orange. And it's really soft. And my best friend I went with. To Black Friday. And um, she got the same one. As well as the same pajama bottoms. And like oh my gosh guys. Are these like the cutest pajama bottoms ever. They got like mini trees. Oh I love them. So cute. And I've already worn these. I actually, when I came home from Black Friday, it's an hour from my house, the mall, so when I came home, I started 6.30 the day before, I went out at 6.30 the day before, on Thursday, and I got home at 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday, and then I slept from 9 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock, and then from 1 o'clock, I drove an hour to my fiance and me's apartment, and spent the day with him and I don't know it was just a really long long gap of time without any sleep and I am just so happy I got to have some sleep last night but these are great pajamas and I got to wear these pajamas in the, like the little like two hour span that I had in the morning I was like yay my first like mini pajamas and I slept like a log because what does that even mean slept like a log do logs sleep I don't know I think that's so stupid saying, but whatever. And then I went to Loft. Now I had like six things on hold at Loft that I was really going to get because their store was 50% off everything, which I like almost had like a fainting spell. I was like, wait a minute, 50% off? And I was like, like, I almost like died, but I didn't. I just was excited. But then I ended up just getting this because if I would have gotten all the things I wanted, it would have came to a lot of money even with the 50% off. So I just can't see myself spending $30 for a shirt. Is that stupid? I don't know. Like, I won't pay anything. If an item's $17, I will not get it. Like, I will refuse to get it if it's $17. But if it's like $20 or $22, I'll get it. But if it's $17, I won't. I don't really understand myself. Or $30. Like, $30 is just way too much to spend on a shirt. But I got this one. It's like a rosy pink with like the black lace detail. And it's really nice. And since I go to um, church regularly, I thought it would be nice to pair with a skirt and it would look really nice. 
Then I went to Victoria's Secret and everybody went there for the um, free tote bag for the 60, if you spend $65 you get a free tote bag full of stuff. And it was, although it was a really nice tote bag, um, I kind of was just like, I don't really want to spend $65 here because I had a lot of other stores that I really wanted to go to. And um, yeah, so instead I just, I had a coupon for a free panty in my purse and I was like, this is kind of silly just to go here, like when they're expecting people to go crazy shopping and just to get a free panty, but I was like, I've already spent so much money, like, might as well get something free, right? Am I right, ladies? Free. So I got it, but I'm not going to show you because that's personal stuff. Then I went to Bath and Body Works. Now, I just took everything out of the bag because I've already filmed this video. But you're allowed to combine coupons on this day, which is really nice. And I, since I have a, my new apartment, I figured I would get some soaps. And I got a bunch of antibacterial deep cleansing hand soaps because I don't like foam soaps because I feel like they don't really clean your hands. I feel like they just like, I don't know, I just don't feel like foam does anything. Like, what is foam? I just don't like it. So I got cucumber melon, which um, I really like because I have a honeydew melon candle from Yuki Candle burning in my bathroom this very moment and um, I figured I would combine the scents and then I got a cher uh, Japanese cherry blossom which I was gonna buy a Japanese cherry blossom candle so that I could put that in my bathroom when I'm done with the other one basically just whatever candle smell I have in there at the moment that's the same smell as my lo my um, soap is going to be this way it's not like a mixture of all these scents then I got a t cranberry tangerine which is a kitchen soap which smells like super good you know what it actually smells like it actually smells like cough syrup so I don't know if I like that one as much but it will be a good kitchen scent so and then I got an iced gingerbread and you know what's got a cute little gingerbread guy on there I'm like oh he's cute but I usually don't like these spicy smells I'm not a big spice person because I get headaches really fast so I'm not really too much into spice can um, smells but this just smells like so sweet and yummy. Like it smells exactly like a gingerbread cookie. And it just was like, mm. and I thought this would be a really good winter scent to have in there for the winter time. And then I have fresh market apple, which I figured could be used for um, summertime, anything. Because I always go apple picking during the summertime at an orchard um, about an hour from my house. And I love going apple picking it's something my family does as a tradition and so it just always reminds me of like that smell always reminds me of that and I just love apple smells and then I got a sea island cotton one and I figured I would get a cotton candle and put that in my bathroom and have this you get the drill you see where I'm going with this so then um, I had a coupon for if you spend $15 you get um, a signature item for free so I had my eye on this bubble bath for a really long time and it's Secret Wonderland which I love 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 this smell and um, it's probably one of my favorite smells from them and I love taking bubble baths it's just like one of my things and oh <laughs> that always happens to me oh my gosh every single time I open these things and I go smell it like and right in my face you should see me in Target one time I did that to a bunch of shampoos and every time it exploded all over me and I had to go up to the lady in like the pharmacy and I was like, do you have like paper towels? And I had like stuff all over my face and she's like, yeah, I do. But anyway, I used up that whole paper towel because I was just like smelling all these shampoos and it's like right in my face. Anyway, then I had a free mini candle because I had a free mini candle coupon and I got peach bellini, which ugh, smells so good. And it kind of reminds me of a volcano candle from... Gilly, um, from Anthropology, but a little less earthier. Like, I feel like the Anthropology Volcano Candle is a little more earthier, but this one is just, like, super sweet and yummy. I really like this smell. But I didn't want to get the big one because I felt like I might get a headache from it because it's such a strong smell and it's so sweet, but I figured I'd burn the small one, and if I liked it, then I'd buy the big one. Surprising, I didn't get any candles today, which I came there for candles, but they didn't have any leaves candles. They didn't have any of the good smelling candles. They all had, like, junky ones. I just didn't like them, so I didn't buy any. So then I got this free... Where to go? Because I had two coupons for $10 off your purchase. I had two of those. So if I spend $60, I get $20 off. 
So basically, for forty dollars, I got all these soaps plus the free um, bubble bath plus the free candle, and then I decided to get the free tote bag. Oh yeah, the tote bag for twenty dollars more, which brought me to the sixty. So I was able to get for forty dollars the tote plus all that stuff, and it comes with this like sparkle makeup bag. And I don't really like the pattern on the inside, which is very like bleh. But it came with this um, loofah, which is really great because I've been wanting a new one. And I don't know why I smelt it, but it doesn't smell like anything. But it's super soft, which I like because sometimes loofahs are really scratchy and they do a lot of damage to your like body when you do those things. But it was filled with um, a sparkling pink champagne foam soap, which kind of stinks because I don't like foam. But, I mean, it's free, so whatever. I'll use it. And then it came with this cranberry pear bellini candle. Oh, this small one was pear bellini, uh, peach bellini, sorry. I don't really like this smell, and I don't know, I just think it's too overpowering. But it's free, so I'll use it. And then this cashmere glow shea and rich shower gel was in there, as well as a cashmere glow body lotion with vitamin E. Now, I don't know about you, but I do like the rose gold tops to these, but I really 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 um don't understand the smell of this because it smells like nothing to me it smells like nothing like i can't smell this smell it just it doesn't have a scent i don't know it just doesn't have a scent but i'll use it and then i came with a pair of some more body lotion as well as a pair of some more two-in-one um hair and shower gel for men and i gave that to my fiance and he's like i hope you know right like i'm not gonna use this and I was like, okay, well, I got it for free. And then he, like, opens it, and he smells it. And he's like, okay, maybe I'll use it. <laughs> so, you never know. And then, I went to... So, that was what I got from Bath & Body Works, including these slippers, which have, like, little tiny sparkles on them. And I love those slippers. They're super cute and comfy, because I love red and cream. And then I got these socks, which are so cozy, and they just remind me of candy canes which I love candy canes. I love breaking off the little round part and putting it in like a retainer and sucking on it. Mmm! That's my favorite way to eat a candy cane. Love candy canes. Okay. So now, I went to Bear Bradley. A huge bag. It's way bigger than I am. Like, way bigger. My mom, because I'm going on a honeymoon, because I'm getting married, she decided to treat me to um, a Vera Bradley bag that I've been wanting for a really long time. And this is um, the style Rhythm and Blues, which they had 25% off of. And this is a Grand Traveler. And I figured for my honeymoon, it's great because it's um, carry-on um, compatible, as well as it has all these really big pockets inside. And... Um, it has this like little thing where you can um, put on your like the little thing of your suitcases. What's that thing? Like the handle thing that you use to roll. You can put it on there so that you won't have to like, be like lugging it, which I really, really, really love because I have really bad shoulders and from like an injury that I had when I was young. So this is definitely great so that I could just slip it on as well as it has a. Um, like a strap, like a big um, body strap if I wanted to. So I got this, and this was $69, which is originally $120, which I was so excited for, and it was such a great gift for my mom, and I love her, which it's just so nice. That was just such a nice gift, and I'm so excited about it. And then I got um, this, which is like a makeup bag, and because I needed a new one, and this one I really like because... It's got all these pockets on the inside, and it's like the most soft and silky material ever. I wish I had like a blanket like this soft, but then it has like a zipper compartment, which I really like. So I figured this would be really good for my honeymoon as well as the cruise I'm going on um, next month. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's something like 15 days or something that I'm going on my cruise. Weird, I haven't even like done any booking process or gotten my, like my, anything for that. I really should do that. Maybe I'll do that right after. Anyway, so if you spend a hundred dollars here at Vera Bradley, you get this free little tote bag. And I really, really like it because it's the new dogwood fabric. And I'm not really a big fan of the fabric, but I actually like it because since I go to church regularly, 
I can put all my books and everything in here, my Bible and everything, and it will fit really nicely in here. And, um, yeah, I really like it. So that's what I got from Vera Bradley. And um, I'm trying to think if I got anything else. Oh, yes, I went to Walmart, and which was the first thing I did because I am a big fan of movies and DVDs. And if I'm going to go spend money on DVDs ever, it's going to be on Black Friday. So I don't have two of them because I give them to my fiancé because they're more of a guy movie um, so that he can have in his collection while he stays at the apartment. And so I got the lucky one for me. Oh, gosh. I love Zac Efron. Like, is he not, like, the cutest stinking guy ever? Love him. Mmm. And then I got Mr. Popper's Penguins because this movie is seriously hilarious. It makes me laugh every time. Spider-Man. For me, the new one, he's so, oh, I just love him. I just love this movie. It just makes me pumped. Like when he, for those who haven't seen it, I'm sorry, but like when he gets hurt and like everybody else helps him and like they make a path for him to, to like do what he's got to do, I'm like, yes, Spider-Man, I'm like, go. I'm, I get so pumped. I'm like, yeah, Spider-Man, do it. And he does it and it's exciting. Yay, I love Spider-Man. But I also got um, for him the Dark Knight. Uh, movie, um, which is the Batman movie, The Dark Knight. It was only a dollar ninety-eight, which is like a crazy deal. And I bought that for him because he doesn't own it. And then I also bought um, the new Sherlock Holmes, The Game of Shadows, which is a really cute, funny movie. And I totally forgot about it. I was like, I knew I saw this movie, and I did think it was cute, so I managed to just get it. But I don't know. And I wish I would have bought the movie in time because I really liked that one. And I wish I would have bought. We bought a zoo, and I wish I would have bought. Um, I, a bunch of movies. I had so many movies. Like, I had a big stack of movies, and then I was, like, sitting there at the cash shop, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to come to, like, $120 of just movies, and I haven't even gone to the mall yet or Target, and I'm like, I might need that money. I might need that money. And sure enough, I did, but I was able to go out of the mall with um, money, a lot of money left over, so I'm pretty happy about that. So this is my whole, um, haul video, and I hope you guys like it, and I also want to do a video of a closet tour and a um, makeup haul of like what I have for makeup as well as my bath and body works drawer. I have a whole bath and body works drawer of just like soaps like these and lotions and candles and basically what it is is I'm a hoarder of soaps and I just like am so mentally prepared to be, get married and be a wife and everything that I have been saving these kind of things for a really long time so that when I go into my new apartment which he's living in right now, um, that I'll have all this stuff and I won't have to go buy these things because I'll, I'll have them. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys like my haul and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.